right, so here is a new one for me and probably for anybody else. I thought they just sold barbecue sauce in grocery stores, but I am here in Elk Grove Village, and this here is an abandoned Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue restaurant. Yep. I don't know if they have any, and if they have them anywhere else in the Chicago area, but I saw this on Google Maps and figured it'd be worth doing. I'm sure they had awesome food here, but too bad they closed. So let's go take a look at this, a sweet Baby Ray's barbecue restaurant. All right. Yeah, maybe they do have other locations. Doesn't tell, doesn't have a date on this or anything. It says it's been open 15 years. The wood, okay, Wooddale, I guess, has one. I've never, believe it or not, I've never been to Wooddale. So I guess Wooddale still has one. Maybe I'll have to give them a try sometime. Sweet Baby Ray's. Good barbecue sauce. They have various flavors. I regularly buy uh, their barbecue sauce. They have like spicy sweet, and then they have like a Hawaiian type barbecue sauce. All right. Yep, looks like some of the tables are still intact. I can't see because of the sun, and there's no lights on in there. I like they have some nice wood beams in there. I can't really get it good. Yeah, it's too dark in there. Maybe, maybe, maybe like it. Maybe it looks better whenever I get home and look it over on the computer. Yeah, I see furniture. I see wood beams in there. I like this building here. It's really nice. Kind of like almost like a Northwoods type theme. Yeah, I believe Sweet Baby Ray's uh, Barbecue Sauce, that company I think is based in Chicago. Uh, some of the blinds are down, of course. I think on the other side there's some nicer uh, shots. There's a patio over there. We'll get over there in a second. Man, this is beautiful. I mean, there's a brand spanking new industrial park over there. So you would think, like, this restaurant would be able to capitalize on that. But... Plus, I think, too, it, it does... The Elk Grove Village... I, I'm, I'm in the part... The, the Elk Grove Village is huge. I'm in the part that's, like, almost to O'Hare. And, this, and I'm in the middle of a huge industrial park, probably the biggest industrial park maybe in the United States. And I don't see like any Targets, I don't see a Walmart, I don't see malls or anything. This kind of just sits, I mean, in, in all intent and purposes in the middle of nowhere. So, it's not, this isn't like an entertainment district, this is a working district. I mean, Woodfield Mall is like all the way back that way. So, you know, probably probably would do better like if they built this restaurant in Schaumburg. Yep, sweet baby Ray. No more. Good barbecue sauce. Let's see if we can sneak in here. Up oh, I hear an alarm, so we're not going to try that. <laughs> so it sounds like the power is still on. I heard a beep, beep, beep. So, nope. <laughs> not even going to try it. Check this. Ooh, some artifacts over here. Nice. Sweet baby Ray. It's like a grill or a fire pit or something for the patio. And some wood, firewood. Awesome. 
Nice to find some evidence in the trash area. Yeah, so I was doing my research because somebody was telling me that one, 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 one of my viewers, one of you guys, told me that there is a white castle and that's down the street that's closed. And then also, I guess I got have information that a Burger King is also closed, I guess, like south of here. But according to Google Maps, it looks like it's still open, but I'm going to investigate that as well. But however, next to that Burger King, there is another abandoned restaurant. So, either way, I'll have a video whenever I get down there. Yep, nice day today. Better get out here and film before the weather starts changing. Uh, there's some sweet baby Ray residence or evidence there. Award winning barbecue. carry out section here when I get in here you know we're climbing we are climbing oh there we go it's our patio that's a sign would have sat there uh, yep even if they don't have even if they close all their restaurants their barbecue sauce still lives on in the stores the bar man I bet this would have been a good place to eat I bet they had good ribs good briskets whatever else barbecue restaurants sell I'm not trying doors because, like I said, they have their alarm going. <laughs> I hear beep, beep, so nope. Not gonna even think about it. If there's a way to get out besides climbing over, oh, I see a door. Yeah, I wonder when this closed. If you have any information on when it closed, just let me know. Because I, I, just, I, I just come across it on Google Maps. I don't, I don't have, didn't have really much time to research, so. Just. There's a couple things that say Sweet Baby Ray's, Elk Grove Village. Uh, Uber Eats that started becoming popular in the last couple of years, so I wonder, I wonder if this did close in the last couple of years, like either 2020 or last year. I don't see anything that says like stay six feet apart, but yeah, a lot of restaurants like really started ramping up deliveries and that. They had to adapt very quick whenever they couldn't do sit down places. back up front oh, look at that number one pulled pork sandwich but that was in 2014 I guess Grubhub was starting to get popular then so all right all right let's step back and get one last look at this now on Google Maps all of that stuff wasn't even there it was all uh, it was all dirt, but I guess all that's been built in the last couple of years. Right, one last look at this sweet baby rays and we'll get out of here. I bet that's where that chimney is. I bet they had a nice fireplace in there. All right then, so from this abandoned sweet baby rays, if you're not a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, please, for a lot more content to come. Make sure that you like, comment, share these videos, please. God bless you.
continue shopping at your local businesses and continue shopping at your local mall. Thank you very much. You guys are awesome.